G'day everyone, Ray Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. And today we're going to be jumping into the campaign side of things. So let's head in there. The land of opportunity demonstrates your talent and rise to become the most powerful transport company in the most powerful country in the world. All right, so we've got an America campaign and we've got a European campaign. We're going to stick to the America campaign for for start starters. So uh, let's go have a look. The future lies in the West. We will bring progress to this barren swath of land full of simple-minded country bumpkins and savage natives. But transporting the required goods is painstaking and expensive. A railroad from East to West, now that would be a real gold mine. But the competition never sleeps. The Central Pacific Railroad has already started construction on a line from the Pacific. Let's beat them to it and open up the Wild West. All right. So let's go. Quite nice. Welcome to the Wild West. It is the year 1864, and we find ourselves in the tranquil settlement of Cheyenne, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here. Our job, to construct a railroad line to the west. The first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather modest sum of money, but that'll have to do if we don't want to scare them off. If the competition carries on working at the current pace, they're expected to reach the goal before us. Let's spare ourselves this disgrace and get started. All right, so it's paused at the moment. So this is the map that we uh, start off with. So we've got Shane down here. We've got ourselves a uh, train depot. There's a train station here, a passenger station. And that's about it at the moment. And what we need to do is we need to bring our, the aim of this is to bring our rail line all the way up here. And you'll see these red lines from time to time. These are areas that we can't build in yet, but they'll open up as we progress through the, uh, through the mission. We need to bring it up and we need to finish up here at Promontory Summit. And then what we need to do is once we've got the track all built up there, we need to run a passenger train from all the way down here. And it needs to go through each of the towns and finish up there. And it needs to do that before before May 1974, May 1874. So we've got about 10 years to do that. Just over 10 years. So that's the aim. Uh, how will we go? Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, I have managed to beat this and, uh, and make it up there in time. But not without having to take a loan. Um, take a loan out. So we will see how we go. I'm going to try and do it without taking a loan out. We'll see how we go. See, see if I can do that. Not confident, but you know, let's give it a go. So let's start the mission. It says five medals can be earned in this mission. These are all the five there. We, I doubt we'll get all of them. We might, but we'll see how we go. So let's go. If we want to beat the competition to the goal, we'll need more workers, and workers need feeding. Once the men are half full, this business with food could generate some extra income for us. All right, so we've got to deliver grain from Shane Farm to Shane Grain Storage. So it's Shane Farm, and this is the grain storage. Okay, so... What we need to be building is we need to look at truck stations. Now the game's paused at the moment because we want to be saving as much time as possible. And ideally what I want to, if you see there when we're placing this down, it highlights some, some of those buildings. It doesn't matter where you place it, basically it will highlight wherever place it. And that's the radius, uh, what's called its catchment zone. 
So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to bring this up as far as possible where it catches, I mean I could bring it up a little bit more than that, but see there it's catching both of them. actually don't want that. I want it to catch the grain storage. We'll just unpause, pause it again. And then I want, want it to be as close as possible and I want it to grab, is that going both? Yep. I want it to grab the farm, but not the grain storage. So probably about there. Just unpause. In this very first mission, you can't build anything um, like lay anything down while the game is paused. Uh, in later missions, you are able to do that. So, okay. So what that does is it enables us to get the grain from here and deliver it here, but it means our, tr our transport only has to move between these two spots. So it's a, it's a very short travel time. And what we want then is we need a depot and we could probably just place that right smack in the middle of them. There we go. Pause the game again. All right, so we've got our road depot here. So now we want to buy some road vehicles. And the only ones that are any use to us at the moment are these horse wagons because these, the horse carriage is only for passengers. This carries everything else. They're 13,000 uh, each. We only start off with 3 million. So, one, two, three, I reckon four is probably good enough. And set line, new line. I want it to go from there to there. That's all we want it to do. And we'll rename that the chain, or we'll delete line one for starters. Chain rain line all right done so now it wants us to deliver four grains so now we just unpause it and it's going to take a little bit for we're just going to speed it up a bit it's going to take a little bit for the uh, grain to start appearing here But it will start. In the meantime, these will just start moving backwards and forwards. So we'll lose a little bit of money on these as they're doing that. Which reminds me, don't necessarily always want to be seeing the uh, red numbers. We want, we want the green numbers, but not the red numbers. Otherwise, you end up with numbers coming up everywhere. You get a bit distracting. So you see how these are starting to spread themselves out. Just make sure. Oh, that's saying that's capturing both now. That could be a problem. Let's wait and see. So this cart here now has one grain on it, or one load of grain I should say, not just one grain, that would be silly. But so that should now deliver that and we should get a little bit of money from that, tiny amount, there we go. Same there. That's two of four. What are we up to? April 20, coming up the end of April. And 
know, not everything will have a not every cart will have a load at the moment, but the farm will start to increase its output. And then basically, uh, hopefully, we end up at the point where all of these have full loads. Let construction begin. Here we go. In order not to fritter away our meager starting capital already on the first leg of the journey, it'd be sensible to choose a route that avoids costly blasting operations to build tunnels. All right, so now it wants us to build rail line from this passenger station, and it wants us to uh, come over here to Laramie. So build passenger station in Laramie and connect it to the existing route with trucks. All right, we can do that. And what we want to do, all right, so we're going to our, to our rail, and this is a passenger station, so we need a passenger station here, and it needs to be dealing with Laramie. Now, there is a reason I'm putting this in like this, and that will become apparent over time. Uh, that could probably just go there. I think. Yep, that should be alright. Let's pause. So we just place that down. And then we just want to join this up to the road here. Alright, so that should be capturing Yep, it's capturing part of Laramie. That's all it needs to do. Okay. Now we need to leave the game running for the moment because we're going to need to uh, lay some track. And we want to lay it. We want the track to cost as little as possible. And so often it's better to lay in. Sh lay the track in short segments I'm not too concerned about these speeds that it's able to do on the curves and that we don't have trains that are able to reach those speeds so now this is going to be the expensive part Bring that over there. Let's just have a look here. All right, so we just want to bring this. what we eventually want to do is we want to bring it so that it's it then ends up matching up with the uh, or joins up and follows the road but we want to do this with as little expenditure as possible because we're limited on money but obviously we also need to uh, worry a little bit about the time factor we don't want to spend too much time on it that's okay, we're getting there. As I said, not in the least bit concerned about about these speeds on these tracks. If I was in free mode, if I was playing in free mode, then yes, it would be more of a concern. That's not going to go there. But I 
think the I reckon the highest speed train that we ever get in this mission is 60 kilometers an hour or something like that. So you see there, it starts to suddenly really get expensive when you start doing long segments. And that's because of it adjusting for terrain. Whereas if you bring it down in short segments, it has a much easier time following the terrain and it costs a lot less. Alright, so here we go. This is the one we need to... join that one up. Wonderful. This one leg completed already. However, we're already encountering our first difficulties. It was very good of the government to place this land at our disposal free of charge. If it weren't for those damned Indians. They've pitched their tents right in the middle of our planned route. Our scouts seem to think they're rather displeased with the white man and his iron horse. And that's us. Okay, so now we've got to build a rail line from Laramie to Rawlings. So we need to build a passenger station in Rawlings and connect it to the existing route. But it's blocked. So if we come up here, so here's Laramie, here's Rawlings. Now, we've got this Indian settlement here. We could go all the way around. But to be honest, we probably don't have the money to do that. Those damned Indians. They're sabotaging our work and are said to have physically attacked some of our men. We need to do something. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of equivalent value, which could get pretty costly, or we could settle it the old-fashioned way, which would probably cost us our good reputation in certain circles. Or else we could try to bribe them with fire water, although its consumption is known to make one rather aggressive. All right, so we've got three options here. We can either just kick them out the old fashioned way, uh, which is probably more accurate for history, I would say. Um, buy and exchange land, it's going to cost us 200,000, or we could uh, try and bribe them with some alcohol, which is uh, going to cost us 10,000. Um, Might try the firewater, although its consumption is known to make one rather aggressive. We may come back, this may come back to bite us. But I don't want to oust them because I don't actually want to get rid of them at this stage. Alright. So it's cost us 10,000 to do that. But we can now, we now have access through to Rawlings. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is up here we've got the Rawlings Iron Ore Mine. And then down here we've got the Tool Factory, Laramie Tools Factory. What we want to do is we want to be shipping this ore down here to this Tools Factory. So we need to come in here and we'll need to go to uh, freight stations now. And what we should be able to do is if I put this here, that'll be close enough to the tools factory to be able to capture it, or it should be. Then we need to join this up with a road. Just 
there. Okay, so that should capture this. Yep, good. And then what we want to do is we want to just join those, uh, join the two lines together. And you see there that the line speed there is 68, 67. But as I said, it's not really an issue. Now, what I'm doing is I'm placing these and then I'm just quickly unpausing it to uh, accept it and then pausing it again. So we want to save as much time as possible at the moment. All right, good. So we've got our passenger station going into a freight station, which captures here. Now we want this to come up and we want We're going to want another freight station here. But this one we can probably just do like maybe not like that. In fact, we could probably just do it like this. Just there. That captures that. And then we need to put a passenger station in there. We'll worry about that in a minute. So now we want to bring this down. So we just let it run. We'll just curve this around, allowing it to uh, 25. Over here in the bottom, we'll just pause for a second. Over here in the bottom uh, right, there's this little toggle here. And what we can do is we can turn on the contour lines. You can see here the contour lines. Intermediate, minor, and major contours. And generally what you're going to find is, a lot of the time it's when you go through a contour that you got to be careful with it. All right, so here we go here. Yep. All right, and then this can just curl down here. What we want it to be doing is not not raising, like not artificially raising or cutting into the uh, land more than necessary. What's that? We're going in. Yep. Let me bring this one up. Start bringing this one up. That's good. So that's that completed there. Now, what we then need to do is we need to come into our trains. I'm actually going to start it. I'm going to put this down here. I want a depot. I could use the depot right down the bottom. Uh, in fact, I might actually do that in this run because we're trying to save as much money as possible. This is going to cost us 19,000. Uh, 19,000. You know what? I'm still going to, I'm going to put it down here, 18,000. So, all right. So we can just put that there. I'm just going to spin around and we need to join up, join this to the, to the railway. That's better, 
like that. Yep. Okay. So that gives us our freight network there. Now bearing in mind that we are going to need some money for the passenger station, which is like 90,000. Okay. But our next thing is we want to, we want to get a train going on here. The question is, which train do we want to go for? This is the cheaper one, 40 kilometers an hour. Um, and we're going to have to use the boxcar, I think it is. No, no, gondola. So don't think the, that's the only thing that will carry the iron ore. And that's all we want it to carry. So that's uh, 218. That's, that's a little bit faster, but it's uh, 317. And the running cost is, uh, is a little bit higher. Mm. It's a bit of a tough choice. It's only five kilometers uh, an hour faster, but it's it's got a lot more pulling power. Yeah, 70. Attractive effort. Mm. I think we might go with the general, even though we're trying to save money. Let's go with it. Right, I've done it. And we need to go with the gondola for the iron ore, and they're 218. So, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to stick with four at the moment. And set line new line we want this to be going from rolling south to laramie central and this can be the just the iron ore line Iron ore line. Okay. So. Get that running. Is our first train. Here it comes. Turn the contours off for the moment. So hopefully, what I'm hoping is that this line here will start to make enough money for us not to have to take a loan out. It's got a top speed of 45, which is well below the line rating. But now we need this to start producing and start delivering out here. So we're just going to leave that running. If we have a look at our uh, line manager, line one, I thought I renamed that, didn't I? Well, let's rename it again. Positive I uh, had renamed that, but there we go. So the, the Shane Grain Line making a small profit. Not much, just a small profit. So that's okay. All right. So next, all right, we've got some. So we've got some iron ore waiting at the uh, station. So it won't be an empty trip back. 
probably won't be full. I wouldn't expect it to be full, but we're slowly getting some iron ore here. Which is good. Alright, so the next thing is we need to we'll extend this track. And they can just come over there for the moment. Uh, do I want to do that? Actually, don't want to do that just for the moment. We need to place our passenger station down. We've got enough to be able to do it, so... Probably go there. And then we need to join that up to the right there. And now that should be, yep, good. Alright, so that's now, that's now connected to Rawlins. And we just need to connect the uh, line now. Which should just be a matter of hooking those together. The problem with the Indians has been settled, but we've already encountered our next challenge. Before us lie miles and miles of nothing but bone dry step. We'll need to make sure we don't run out of water. However, there should be iron ore deposits that we can exploit to earn a bit of extra money and to produce tools. All right. So that's our next objective, is to build the rail line from Rawlings to Evanston. And you'll notice these green circles here. These are water fountains. And what it wants us to do is to connect up to at least three of them. But there is a medal that we can get for connecting all of them. So we're going to be looking at doing that. Also, let's have a look. Let's just have a scan around. Got everything paused at the moment. So, chain, Laramie. Also, we've got this uh, floating question mark here over Rawlings. So, we'll have to see what that's all about. But we'll do that in the next episode. Um, so, we've made a good start. What was that? 19, oh, eight, I keep saying 19. February 1865, so really only just used a year up so far. A train's just about to come in and pick up its first load of ore, and we've got seven ore waiting for it at the moment. We've got our grain down here working well. Let's have a look. Yep, there's nothing waiting there, so they're, they are transporting. See, two of four, one of four. So they're not full. But that's okay. They're doing their thing. And we've connected from Chain to Laramie and Rawlings. So now we've got to come up. This is a fairly long section here. But once we get up to Evanston, we've then only got a short hop over to Ogden and the finish. So this is our main section here that we're going to need to do and we need to just be a bit careful with the way we do our uh, rail lines because as I said we want to capture each of these. That's kind of going to dictate the line the way we go through. So first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to curve that round and if I have to slow it down a little bit coming immediately out of the uh, passenger station I'm not too bothered. But as I said that is all for the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll see if we can't beat our competition to uh, open up the Wild West. I'm Raid0AU, signing out.